Atari Legends, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive, where Bebo's facial hair grows, his hair grows, everything grows, because we are, oh, I don't even know what day we're on for quarantine, I'm on like day 50, is it 50 days of quarantine? So, should we take a look at this week's events? <gasps> better, 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 drum roll! There it is, we have the Africa and Oceania event from May 4th, it is Star Wars Day, yay, hey, happy Star Wars Day, uh, and May 10th. So, from Monday to Wednesday, you have your commons, which are D Diplocalus, Nundasuchus, Majungasaurus, Sarcosuchus, and Sukumimus. From Wednesday to Friday, you've got Giraffe, Titan, Marsupialion, and Spanosaurus. And Saturday, Sunday, you have Alanqua and Kentrosaurus, a very uh, meh kind of week, not gonna lie. The only thing that's really uh, look, standing out to me is on the Friday, we have a, uh, what's that deer? The legendary deer, or sorry, epic deer. Um, you've got a chance to get 500 DNA of that. However, that is the master level battle event. So you're gonna have to have some good creatures in order to win it. Uh, this thing, yes, this thing, whatever it is. The Eucladoceros. Yeah, so you'll definitely get 500 of that. So I'm just gonna, and I think I need to get to level 15 anyway. So I might as well just spend some coin leveling it up. Um, I think 15 is like the minimum you need to fuse it, like for anything, if it's an epic. You need level 15 or level 20 if you're making a unique- Oh, look at his little nose, it's so cute! Uh, what does it need? Oh, that's right, the- Oh, and it is a level 20 anyway, the Tester Cornibus. Oh, wow. <laughs> great, yay. Apparently that's really good. I've been told it's really good, I don't know if it is. Also, yes, talking about this, I'm letting all my facial hair grow up. I'm not styling it yet, so it looks like a mess. And until quarantine's over, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on growing it. So I'm gonna end up with like a really, really like long mustache and no hair here. <laughs> it's gonna look so weird. Ah, oh. and also everyone saying that I've upgraded to a man man. Thank you. You've already acknowledged. We had this in an unboxing video ages ago. I think I was no longer a man child, I was a man man. <laughs> so, some long term fans remember that. So, this is my team. Only change is that we have Gemini Titan level 24 now instead of level 23. So, hey ho, there's something. Uh, nothing else really to report on. When you get to these high levels, it takes a while to. Um, to level them up. But anyway, sorry, yes, we're talking about the events up there. So, from Monday to Wednesday, the uh, commons out of all of them, go for whatever you need. I've already maxed Sukumimus, Max Nundasuchus, Map Dic Max Dis Diplocalus. Now, Majungasaurus is getting that hybrid. It already has a hybrid, but the hybrid of its hybrid is getting a hybrid. So, that is the Titanoboa hybrid, the extra one, Titan Titanoboa Gen 2. So, maybe Majungasaur is gonna be one that you're gonna get. Uh, I've already kind of maxed that guy out, but. Uh, Sarkasugus for me, which I think is a park spawn, is probably what I'm gonna go for. Wednesday to Friday, you got Masupi Lion, Giraffe Titan, and Spinosaurus. Giraffe Titan is part of my local spawn, so there's no need for me to get that. Uh, Masupi Lion, I think, is also, like, it's either like a random daily spawn or something, but uh, I might go for that. But Spinosaurus is probably the one that most people are gonna go for, because Spinosaurus is uh, what you need for the Spino Constrictor, which I have almost maxed up, but we have like 230 of like th this. So we may as well, I mean, we're gonna get to level 24. Um, is there any point really spending the coin on it? Because how much does it cost? 10,000? Oh, sorry, 20,000? 80,000! Uh, sod it, well, may as well. Uh, nothing spoiling. It just saves me money in the long run when eventually I will use it when it gets a buff or something. Or maybe a new meta ap appears, and then, you know, let's just fuse it. Should we just fuse it? We might get lucky, we might get 100. 30 is quite good. Especially with these unique, they take a long time to get, so we got two more pops. Can we? We can't do it. Even if we got, like, two 100s, not gonna happen. But, let's see. 10? What do you think? Is the next one gonna be a 10? Is it gonna be a 10? I think it might be a 10. Go on, what's it gonna be? Go on, give me a 10. Go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. You really? Ooh, I love the game. Best game. Best game ever. So, from Saturday to Sunday, um, we have the Alanquit and Kentosaur. Probably like six. You probably collect six of one of them or three of each. For me, Kentosaur, um, if, if you don't have uh, Trichosaurus, Kentosaur is a good one to go for. As well as, I think Kentosaur has some other hybrids. Let's have a look. 
Because Kenrisso you need for this guy, and Kenrisso also fuses into... No, it doesn't! It's only for this. Fantastic. But Kenrisso is a really good creature um, for the tournaments. Because I was using it when uh, the last tournament was happening. Not the one that's going on at the moment that ends today, but the other one. And Kenrisso just saw me through so many, like... The superiority, uh, yeah, superiority strike, the Thagomizer, and the instant distraction was really good. The fact it could counter as well just made it awesome. Does this guy counter? He's got to a counter, right? Yeah, medium, immune to a vulnerability, a medium counter. Doesn't have any uh, defense shattering, which would make it really good, really good against the turtle. Um, we'll collect this, see what we get. Anything good? You never know. Uh, darts we definitely don't need. How many darts do you have? I think I've got over 30,000 I think I have now. I was going to say 3,000, but that doesn't sound right. So another Ankylosaur. Uh, Stiggy Moloch, 23. Um, should we tr should we just dart something? Or at least just enter the darting screen to see what I've got? I have 24,000 darts. <laughs> just every day I'm buying them. I wonder what's going to happen when we come out of quarantine. Because there was a glitch. I don't know how you guys did it, but some of the other alliances, I've seen screenshots where they've got this 999 plus before you could buy darts. So I don't think they would be spending bucks on darts. So there's obviously some sort of glitch in the game um, that allowed you to collect them. But anyway, before we do anything extra, um, I want to go into the tournament because we have, th what, 350,000? 350,000 points, giving us the tier five. This is a clap for you in the alliance. You did good. You did good. Um, of course, I did, I did just top four. <laughs> but uh, we have the, what, raw tier five, that one? So we get 100 of the unique deer, 500 of the turtle, 500 of the other deer, and 1,000 of the nozudo. And these are all recipes, I think, to make that deer. So that's good. Now, this is the interesting thing. This is where it gets interesting. So, leaderboard. The top alliance, 56,000, Apex Predators and Trico Carnage. Um, so if we compare them to what we've got, our alliance, they have only gotten one up, which is still good. They still get 50 of the unique, which is good. 250 extra, total 250 extra um, deer and 1,500 um, Nazudo. Now this is minimum guaranteed, so you might even get more. Uh, so we still have yet to see what we actually get, but we'll probably we'll be getting it today So there's gonna be a lot of posts online about what we got um, But the, the, the questionable thing is look how far away we anybody even the top alliance was away from the top prize um, Not even half not even halfway there uh, Were they to get in the top top prize which would have secured you 500 minimum like this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. So let's get talking about what happened How did these guys get top of top? Obviously all that I mean if you look at our alliance um, We're down 162. We've dropped 57 places apparently um, But in our alliance there were some members that didn't do much So if you think an alliance all contribute 10,000 that's 50 so 10,000, that's 100,000 times by 50, that's 50,000. So yeah, if everybody just did all the contributions, that's probably, and, and Ford, they were all active, that's 50,000 minimum um, to get. So it's like, hmm, it's tricky because that to me doesn't seem like a lot uh, for the prize when everybody has been as active as possible. Um, when you've still got 125, sorry, 1,250,000 points to get. Um, and to start with, a lot of people in these top alliances, or at least I think with Trico Carnage, were leaving the alliance, joining another alliance, collecting the 1,000 point to that alliance, and then rejoining back. Or having multiple accounts and doing it that way. Now, apparently, Ludia didn't want that to happen. So they were temporarily banning people. There was some, there was a few shown either on Discord or the Facebook groups of people who had got this message of temporary ban for joining and unjoining alliances constantly. Um, so that's interesting. I mean, even if they were going hard to get another 150,000 points, 150,000 to get this one, the 200, seems like a stretch even for a super active alliance. 
Um, and we've only got, what, like an hour and 32 minutes until this ends? There's no way that the that the top leaders or top alliances are going to get this next uh, incubator. So, bit of a shame. It does feel like there's a lot of, like, why even bother giving us all these? But at least it's something to aim for. I mean, this is the first time they've done it, so they really didn't know how the points were going to go, I think. So, maybe we'll see a change. Maybe we'll see uh, the point requirements get lower, smaller, a smaller amount. So, maybe... Um, the top alliances will be able to get this one and then that'd be good because then our alliance would probably be up to Well, they're only one ahead. So we'd get that one, which would be great, but I don't know <laughs> um, But uh, I think this battle I as far as this whole tournament goes It was okay. I didn't think it was too bad um, I think uh, I prefer the ones that uh, like that one the boost tournament. I got 1300 was it the boost one? I felt like I preferred the ones where you the boosts uh, didn't matter and you were just all level 26. Boosts were probably the rewards, that's right. I, I did better on those ones when it was all fair. There was more strategy in it. Like I made my team, I thought it was great and I, I won like seven or eight games in a row. And when I record that video, I won like four games in a row. Um, and they were tough games. Like one lasted like 20 minutes or so. Well, it felt like 20 minutes, it was probably like 10. T-Rex, right, has a hybrid Trichosaurus. Maxed it out, don't need to worry about it. Uh, its other hybrid is Indominus Rex. Well, I don't really need Indominus Rex. It's okay. It's not, like, amazing. I mean, there hasn't been any tournaments that we've needed Indominus Rex for. Um, but it has Earl Dominus, which I've almost got maxed. And Indoraptor, which at the moment I'm not using. So, I'm okay. So, going back to T-Rex. I'm going to level up T-Rex. Now, I have 7,000. Um, now, T-Rex is used a lot. Especially in... Um, in just regular tournaments like this, if there's a chance of levels counting and you can only use epics. I've used T-Rex quite often, so I'm gonna level them up just a little bit. Um, because I really don't need T-Rex is quite common. If you're gonna run into epics, T-Rex is probably gonna be out there. It's quite common to be a reward in other things. Um, so I am going to get him possibly to level 25. And a lot of people will be like, no, Beaver, what are you doing? Look! My game, I do what I want. <laughs> and I'm not gonna get to level 25, but we're damn close. Um, and if I win loads of battles in this tournament, I get more Nazutoceratops DNA, which is far rarer. Um, I could put boosts on him, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not stupid. <laughs> so how about we do some tournaments and see how this goes. Oh, before we do anything else, also I'm gonna level up Kentrosaurus because I love Kentrosaurus. Um, I've used it a lot. Let's do it. So level 16 too, let's get level 20. Oh, oh no, I run out of bucks. I mean coin, oh, oops. Oh, well, never mind, level 16 will do, on to the battles. Ooh, I'm excited, I'm excited. We've got that level 24 T-Rex. If we get it, that could be a win, but let's see, let's see. Do we get that T-Rex? It's coming, it's like, as far as the algorithm goes, it might not give, oh, it did give it to me. Okay, well, it's a good one to start with. Let's go with Ehrlichosaurus, I mean, Worst case scenario, we come up against a turtle and we're gonna have to switch to T-Rex <laughs> or another turtle. Let's see, Ehrlichosaurus. Ooh, a woolly rhino. Ooh, interesting. Now he can slow me down if he wants to. Um, so I might as well just go for a big hit. I might, might as well go for two times damage. Rhino is 108 speed. Is T-Rex 108? I feel like T-Rex might be 108 and because I'm level 24, ooh, ooh, a really a lethal wound? I would've just gone for decelerating. And then just being able to instant, like, finish me. But, uh, okay, fair enough. I don't have anything that's actually quicker than him. Uh, so I'm gonna switch out in this in this case. He's gonna do a big hit, possibly, to my turtle. And uh, he can do 1,400. Um, oh, this is gonna be bad if he goes for it. Oh, decelerating. We're gonna live! Barely, though. Barely we're gonna live. Because uh, he's, he's now gonna go for it. Um, so we may as well just, like, slow him down. Oh, it could be a big one. Don't be a crit. Oh, 1,400. Oh, jeez, that's tough. Okay, well, just bite him. Yeah, there we go. Now we can go for digging. Worst case scenario, something big like a T-Rex. Chances are, T-Rex is probably going to come in. Because, let's be honest, who doesn't have a T-Rex level 24 Indominus Rex hybrid? But he might not. We'll see. He's got to have something that's got that, uh, like, uh, breakthrough armor, breakthrough... Oh, okay! 
Oh, we're doing this, are we? Right, okay, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for a dig in. It's gonna be one, one of those. Oh, it's a Draco Rex. Welcome to the meta that has been this game. <laughs> What's his attack? 895, wow, okay. Right, so I now know he has Draco Rex. Um, I also know he has a turtle. Right, so he can only go for a strike and my T-Rex does a crud ton of damage. Right, we might have won this just because of the T-Rex. Like, what's his speed? 124. So he's going to go for one hit. So a level 24 T-Rex is about to rock your world, son. Rum. That's killed him in one hit. If I was level 20, that wouldn't have done it, I don't think. Okay, so Eternal, he's not going to switch in. Oh, a Diplodocus. Interesting. Oh, this is going to be a big hit, son. This is going to be a big hit. I mean, 1,940 is a lot. And... He, uh, oh, oh my god. Okay, so what can he do? Like, he's got a 5% chance to crit. He can go for his attack one times of the shield, and that's not going to kill me. There's nothing he can do. He can just hope and pray he gets a crit here for 5% chance. Other than that, no, nah, he didn't get it. Didn't get it. Look at that, because I leveled up my T-Rex. I wrecked that team. Wow, okay. It's good, right? Because it did cost me money. Like, I, I earned it. But at the same time, if it was a fair match, it's it's a bit sucky because that wouldn't have happened that way. But hey, if it means I get no Zootoceratops DNA, them the rules. Let's go for another one. That T-Rex man, he would have died. He would have died. Well, he wouldn't even kill the Draco. And then Draco would have probably done impact and run it. It would have been very bad. Okay, so T-Rex and Turtle. I think that's a good team. TNT. Well, it's a tortoise, so T-Rex and tortoise, which is still TNT. Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good. That's good. Okay, so we can, uh, oh, what can we go for? Oh, we can't do an impact and run. Hmm, what's a good choice here? I think we should just switch into our turtle. Chances are, he's going to whittle us down. This is my plan, this is my plan. I've done some big brain plays, big brain plays in the last video. I think he's going to whittle me down to a point where he can switch in his Draco Rex and just kill me. Oh, is he going to go for a ready to crush? He's going to go for a ready to crush. Interesting. Um, but why, though? Why would he do that? He's dead. You're a silly billy. Why did you do that? I mean, yeah, you get one hit off. And you got a crit, which is very lucky. But you're dead now. Why did you do that? I mean, I might as well go for devastation. And, eh, there you go. I think his play relies on that Draco Rex. I think he's going to switch in the turtle. Oh, it's a, it's a Brachiosaurus. Okay. Is he going to go for a Rampage straight away? Um, how much damage? What level is it? Level, tw level 21. Leveling it up past what it needs to be. Probably just for this tournament. Ooh, it's into the tactics. Come out. Okay. So now I think he's probably going to switch in to his Draco Rex. Uh, but hey. Oh. Well played, well played. Okay, well, I he halves my devastation, which is 1.5 attack still, which is still a fair bit. 1,300. Um, takes him into dangerous territories for my T-Rex uh, to come in, because I know he, ha he has a Brachiosaur, he has a turtle, a tortoise. Um, and I'm just going to go for my dig in here, because might as well just half the attack, right? And we have 40% armor, so it's not really much coming through. <laughs> I think he's lost. It depends what his other creature is, what his other dinosaur is. But I think I've won this one. Yeah, 313. Was it was it worth it? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Depends what level his Draco X Gen 2 is. Um, because he might be able to just swap it and kill me in the next turn. He might be able to do this. Now he could go for Rampage again and do 600, I think it is. Yeah, he could do it. I think he oh! He's probably going to go for Bellow, though. No, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, I'm outplayed. <laughs> Could have killed him. Uh, is it Rampage now? Maybe, what's the cooldown on, on uh, Bellow, though? Maybe maybe I didn't play that right. What's the cooldown on Bellow? Click the Brachiosaurus. Uh, cooldown 2. Oh, okay. Right. Well, either way, it's about T-Rex to set up for his biggest hit. Now, this can do 3,400 damage. Doesn't matter. Okay, he's slowing me. So, he's hoping that... Whatever comes in can do two hits and kill me. 4,000 damage in two hits? That's a tall ask. It's probably like an Urlikosaurus or something. 
Mmm, that would be a good one. Ilicosaurus or Thera? Is it Thera? I think it's Thera. Oh, Diplodocus. Oh, he's dead. Uh, well, good game. Good game, because he's only got the turtle otherwise, and uh, they're both dead. I think he realizes now. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> It's a lot of damage. 1,700 is a lot of damage for like one hit and decelerating. Oh, 4,300. There you go. Well, we needed the crit to kill him, I think, but we got it. So that is another one. But shop. Ooh, well played. Well played. That was a good one. Should we make it a hat trick? Let's go for three. Let's go for three. I'm feeling, I'm feeling greedy. Let's get greedy. T-Rex has seen me through. Two wins. Can we get him again? Can we do it? 50% chance. Oh, we don't get it. Oh, no. Okay, so what have we faced up straight away? Turtle, and I don't know what the other one was. Probably a turtle. I think they've always been turtles. Um, okay, well, let's do Rhino. I mean, worst case scenario, a Lycosaurus, and even then... Oh, a Marsupial Lion. Now, I don't think... He's got a lot of health. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't because he's only level 15. Okay, he's immune to decelerating, so we may as well lethal wound him. Just to do some damage. Um, is it one one times damage? It is one times damage. Oh, that, that minor render. It doesn't matter what level Marsupial Lion is. Maybe I should have Marsupial Lion in here. What am I doing? You'd be really good. So the lethal wound uh, is 800. Um, oh, what should we go for? I mean, he's probably going to go for a big rendering hit, which isn't going to kill me, but then he's going to be able to set up with something. You know what? Is he gonna get the crit? He gets the crit and kills me. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Ah, ah, I don't like it. Right, well, luckily we have something that's quicker. So at least we can get a speed boost and make sure that he's probably gonna fodder it off. I would assume he's gonna fodder off, unless he has a turtle. Oh, he goes for, okay. He's, you've, you've still lost. Oh, you cleanse- Oh, it cleanses the bleed. I didn't realize that. Well, you've still lost anyway, because you can't- You can't negate that, even with your 66% chance. Right, okay. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Turtle would be a horrible one to face up against with this team. Mammoth's the only thing that can take it out. Oh, but level 50 marsupial lion leads me to believe is not the best, uh, level 20. It's a level 20. It's a level 20. Um... Should we just, like, make sure that he only hits with one times? Me as well, right? So he's going to decelerate me, but it's only going to be one times damage. Which isn't that... Whoa, what's his attack? Whoa, 970. Wow. I always... I feel like I've been hit with much bigger hits. But probably because I haven't nerfed them. Okay, so uh, he's now going to go for a shield, I would assume. That's fine. That's fine. Um... Yeah, we're still going to be slower. Still going to be slower. I might need Thera, though. He's the only thing I've got that's guaranteed to be quicker. 900 nod. Now we can go for his two times damage, which is 1,800. Um, we'll slow him down. We'll slow him down. My Diplodocus against his. It really isn't. Mammoth and Thera are both. Or is it? Is it not Thera? Is it Ehrlich? But Either way, the fast one. The, the fluffy bottom. Either way, they're... Oh, he gets a 5% crit chance! What are you on about? <laughs> That's crazy! Oh, I, I got it, though. I got it. I just got it. Woo! Woo! Is he gonna go for shield? Oh, he does. That's bad. But either way, I guess it's the best he could, he could have done. Because now I'm definitely faster. Uh, so we may as well go for Az. Okay! What? What's he got? We, we don't know. He's got two of the creatures that we don't know, and it's not looking good for me. I'm 2-1 two, two up, but he can set up with something. He can set up with something. If it is a T-Rex, though, I can at least get a hit off uh, and slow it down. It needs to be faster, and it needs to kill me in one hit. Well, there. That's what you need. Um, that's really what you need. So, but this could be good. This could be good, I think. I think it could be good. Oh, he goes for a speed up. Well played. Well played. Um, right. Chances are he's probably going to go for a rampage. So might as well go for a bellow. Um, so I'm going to go for a bellow. I'm expecting a rampage. Doesn't matter what he does except for switching out. I'm going to do a lot of damage to him. It's 2-2. Two, two. He's got a mystery dinosaur. He's got a mystery dinosaur. If it's turtle, there's nothing he can really do. Let's see. Let's see. Is it a rampage he's going for? Is it a rampage? Or is he clever? It's a switch and run. Okay. What's it, what is it? What's his other creature? Is it T-Rex? Demetrodon. Who's not quicker than me. 
Ouch. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go for... He could have a critical impact chance. Even then, he's not going to kill me because i got armor, I think. Right, I've done this because if he does switch into Thera, chances are he's probably going to die. Um, I think. I don't know. Like, how much damage? I do two times damage, isn't it? So it's 1,600. He's probably going to switch back. Oh, he didn't! Why not? He could have switched. He could have switched and rampaged me and killed me, I think. Because I hadn't touched his uh, Thera. I didn't deserve that win, man. I didn't deserve that win. That, ooh, ooh. Okay, either way. Maybe he thought I was going to switch into my Thera. And then I think the other one's quicker. Oh, but there you have it. Three wins in a row. Um, We could, okay, four wins. Let's, okay, let's go greedy. Four wins. Can we do it? <laughs> Survey says probably not, but um, if we get T-Rex, it's a good chance that we can do it. Oh, here we go. Right, what's it gonna be? T-Rex, please, 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 please. Damn it! Yeah, we might have lost this one. I, I don't know. Should we start with uh, Lico? I mean, it's, it's probably, it's it's a good one, right? Because we could just do it with big hit or nerf. Ooh, interesting. Okay. He's probably, mm, hmm. What could he go for? Maybe a mobilize? Maybe a mobilize a good one? I'm gonna do a big hit to you anyway. Bah! There we go. Now, how fast is Gripo? 116 is pretty darn quick. Jeez. Uh, I don't have anything that's quicker at all. Um, I might as well just... Oh? Okay. Is that one hit? Oh, it's just a stun. Right, that's not good on his part because then he's going to lose his Ferocious Strike and I can go for Rampage again? Didn't think that through. He, he probably could have killed me. He probably could have killed me because I don't think I could have killed him. But... If this is his plan that I can't switch out, this might work for him. Oh, okay. Uh, well, he still can't kill me. Uh, all right. Dig in. So he's a little bit quicker. What? I'm st I okay. I'm still going to do damage to you. I mean, the only thing is you've half the incoming attack, I guess. And then I'm just going to go for Rampage because, I mean... You can't go for Devastation yet? So, really don't know what the plan was here. He can, he can heal himself next turn, but hey-ho. There you go. Right, well, you've done damage to us. Good job. Good job. You did damage. Um, and you're faster. So, I guess that's good. So, we've got... Uh, ooh, what can we go for? Should we go for Diplodocus? He's probably going to go for Devastation, which is still going to do a lot of damage. Still going to do. We'll slow him down. Let's see. Let's see. He didn't. He, he he just wanted to play it safe. He thought I was going to stay in and fodder it off. Okay. Right. So he's definitely slower. Um, right. Yeah. Ooh, he went for dig in. Interesting. He's really, really wanting to drag this out. I guess if I was him, I would have went for another superiority and then went devastation the next turn. But all right. This is still going to do a lot of damage to you. Wow, 970. Okay. And I think... Oh, yeah, that's not good, man. That's not good. Um, Can he go for another dig in here? Because if he can't, he's dead. I think he might be able to go for a dig in, though. Can he go for... Can you go for... Oh, is it two? Is it a cooldown of two? Oh, he's swapping. Oh, he's swapping for a bleed. Oh, oh, this tells me he's not... If he doesn't want to risk his turtle, this tells me he's not He's not in a good good situation. Also, since I've grown all my facial, I'm like, mm, <laughs> I can touch it now. Damage over time. Right. Does he have a stun? Uh, he can... He's, he shouldn't go first, should he? Okay. Uh, definitive 1.5. Should we just kill him? I think we should just kill him. I don't think he can kill me here, so we might as well just kill him. Um, his turtle is pretty much counted by my mammoth, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, it really just depends. Okay, so there you go. Hit, and down he goes. So, I'll take that trade off. I'll take the trade. This is gonna be... I feel like there's gotta be something. There's gotta be, like, a trick card here. Um, should we turtle it? Just in case. Because he might just put his own turtle in. But you, you probably won't. What's his other creature? It is a Diplodocus! Okay, ooh. Right. I, hmm. Ooh, the tables have turned. <laughs> I'm like, now will I make the mistake? I, I don't think so. I'm just gonna, 
Oh, he went for shield advantage right away. Strange. Uh, now, what's the best I could do here? Um, superiority and then devastation, right? I think that's the best I could do. Yeah, superiority. Because he's going to go for the big hit. And then devastation. I've just got to make sure, because we'll, there'll be the same speed, uh, that I can just hit him. I can hit him straight away. Otherwise, he's going to go for another shield and then kill me. Okay, there we go. Doesn't matter what he does, it's going to be a big hit. Yeah. Oh, it is a crit! Oh, what were their chances? 5%! Oh my god, I, still... I mean, I would have won anyway, because I had... Oh, that is a good name. <laughs> what is that name? <laughs> oh, no. That was luck. I mean, I think I would have won with my mammoth anyway, even if I hadn't have gone first. Well, actually, I would have gone first, but even if I hadn't got the crit. But... There you have it. Um, hope you're enjoying Dressable Live. Uh, make sure to set off your GigaSends, even if you're not, even if you're only playing the game for like 10 minutes. Set off the GigaSend. You're gonna get, a, you know, what, 20 creatures, and there's a chance that one of them's gonna be an epic. So, be the top tip. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye.